Hey guys, and welcome to this video. And in today's video, I want to talk about Minoxidil application and the right shampoo for it, right? And what you need, actually need to be aware of when you are applying Minoxidil and using a shampoo. And for you guys who don't know me, my name is Alex, and I've been suffering hair loss since I was 18 years old, but I was able to recover from it and get here I have now, and I'm now 36 years old. So in today's video, I want to talk about what to be aware of uh, regarding shampoo and when you apply Minoxidil. And the thing is that uh, when you are using shampoo, uh, as we should do, because we need to have a clean scalp, is that sometimes shampoo do contain silicones in it, right? And some of those silicones can be quite resistant. And uh, basically what can happen is that they can uh, make uh, minoxidil less effective. And this is basically something that, uh, uh, that uh, back when I was starting with minoxidil uh, in the uh, in the brochure of minoxidil bottle there, or package, there was uh, instructions how to use it, right? And one of the things that uh, came up was that one needs to be careful what kind of shampoo one is using regarding amount of silicone in it, right? Because uh, often, let's say, if you do buy mainstream shampoos uh, on the store or in the store, they often contain a lot of different silicones to make uh, hair appear better or thicker or more, have a more volume and other things, right? But those things can be problematical for us if we are applying minoxidil. So this is something to be aware of, is that if you do use shampoos, don't use the shampoos that have a lot of silicones in it, because those silicones are, can be uh, resistant, right? There are several types of them, right? There are several categories and several types of them, and uh, I won't go into uh, each of those categories, but basically you need to use the shampoo that has the silicones, uh, but those silicones are not resistant. They don't stay uh, on the hair or the scalp uh, and they easily are washable out with the water, right? You don't want to have silicones that you actually need to use a hard shampoo to wash them out because that can affect the minoxidil effectiveness, right? And uh, like I said, this is something I read first time when I started with minoxidil in the information brochure that came with a minoxidil box uh, when I was buying it. So this is something I wanted to kind of share with you guys because I think a lot of you are not aware of it and you haven't been seeing any results. Maybe you need to check up the shampoo as well, right? Making sure that there is no additional silicones in it and that can affect effectiveness of minoxidil. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and see you next one. Cheers. Hey, it's Alex, and if you did find my content valuable, you need to check out the training videos that I have made. And basically, it will show you my personal journey of stopping my hair loss and getting full stock here without doing any investing methods. And it also will show you how I was able to help other guys do the same. And you can find the link below this video in the description text. And basically, it will help you to avoid wasting your time and energy on hair loss treatments that just don't work. And over the years, I have seen so many guys who try different methods and different treatments and they don't get results and they kind of give up solving their hair loss issue. And I don't want you to be one of those guys. Also, if you do enjoy my content, subscribe to my channel because I upload three new videos every single week and I also hold live stream every other week where you can ask your hair related questions and get answers them live plus I give away bonuses for subscribers who attend live streams live. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.